Magnus, who's, Jim, he's on the hot seat tonight, it sounds like. Yeah, you know, we love having Seth on the pregame show. He's a little reluctant. This is just his second appearance. But you're ready tonight, right? I just want to say thanks, Jim. Uh, it's a real honor to be here, coming from one of the best in the game. I'm happy to be here. And the game you mean in regional cable. Thank you for that. We're going to do a little segment we like to call Questions from the Clubhouse. These are actual questions from his actual teammates. Are you ready to go? I'm a little nervous. The heart's, the heart's racing. You don't seem like you're nervous at all. It's a little duck. All right, question number one. This comes from Michael Waka. How tough was the choice picking baseball over playing basketball for the Tar Heels? Now, we know you're a big Tar Heel fan. You were never really a recruit for Roy Williams, so it wasn't that difficult, was it? I, I feel like I had some good rec game. I had some good games, you know, probably seven, eight points, a couple layups, free throws. I like to model my game after Steph Curry, probably if I could choose one person, maybe a little Dirk Nowitzki mixed in there. I could shoot it a little bit. You should be in the NBA right now with a game like that. Uh, well, I'm more of a street legend, I'd say, a little pickup rec center guy. I'm going to have to get the video of that for another pregame segment. Question number two is from Matt Adams. If you had to pick a favorite pro wrestler, who would it be? And he told me you don't like pro wrestling, so he wants you to pick one anyway. The Brahma Bull. The Rock. Who is that? The Rock. The Rock. He's got it all. Can talk it. A little bit of acting. Some nasty moves. The, what was he? What do you have? The elbow slam or something? The, people's the elbow. Bottom, the rock I thought it was a people's, the people's elbow. elbow. I can't do the eyebrow. He, I know Big City's a big Brock Lesnar fan. RKO, TKO, one of those. But yeah, the rock. Robin Bull. He wishes you uh, liked uh, professional wrestling a little bit more. This is from Matt Belisle. He said, you work so quickly on the mound. Is that your approach to life? He said, no one works quicker on the mound. Is that the way you do everything? I do. I like to stay busy. Uh, I don't like a lot of downtime. I always want to stay doing something. Keep interacting, doing something, staying ready, learning, whatever it may be, just small things just to stay active. Mostly learning, though, right? <laughs> a little bit of learning. All right, this one is uh, from your teammate Kevin Segris, who asks, how do you put up with Jim Hayes in the clubhouse every day? Wow, I mean, I feel truly blessed to be sitting here today to have been asked. I don't have a shovel. I've been pat passed over i mean numerous times to do this show but it's a true honor to be on here for our second time well, you're reluctant we've asked you a couple times you're like hey, all right the last question thankfully this one is from randy choate he asks when you're out of nails to chew what will you turn to Ooh. does it call you chewy he's giving I you the business sunflower seeds um you know mlb's able to provide us with enough seeds down there to keep me active and keep me busy luckily keep a little bit of nails on this year so we make it through so how uh how do you think you did uh, i'll give it a c you know it's always room for improvement i thought you did a great job questions from the clubhouse i give this guy an a great job seth i, I would give him an a too you never you didn't stump him he didn't stutter or stammer or anything great job by seth manus al raboski favorite pro wrestler we'll put you on the hot seat Freddie Blassie. Tell us more. You pencil neck geek. Don't you know about Freddie Blassie? Yeah. He actually uh, later on was a promoter and discovered a guy named Paul Kobe. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you would have been a fantastic pro wrestler. Back uh, you know, Jack Brickhouse told me that one yeah. time. Well, you got when the... we were making about $50,000 a year, he said, you, you come, you gain 50 pounds, and I'll get you a quarter of a million dollars. And uh, I gave him the 50 pounds, but I didn't get the money. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't gotten the money.